from our oceans to our food and water supplies to our forests. Climate change is affecting species, environments, and communities everywhere. With the upcoming UN Summit in Paris, leaders from around the world have a chance to join together and make a real difference in the fight against climate change. Five years ago, world governments pledged to cut carbon emissions in order to keep the average global temperature increase below 2 degrees Celsius. That's what's needed to limit the worst effects of climate change, according to the best science. Mm -hmm. Ahead of Paris, more than 150 countries submitted national targets for reducing emissions. If you add up all of these commitments, we'll reach about halfway to the 2 degree target, leaving an emissions gap of several gigatons of carbon. In Paris, leaders can create a plan that addresses this gap but it'll take a new era of cooperation between governments, businesses, and communities of developing and developed nations to acknowledge the emissions gap and take the steps needed to close it. Governments can move beyond negotiation and focus on cooperative problem solving, working to cut emissions domestically while partnering with other nations to make an even bigger impact. Businesses can reduce emissions based on science, which benefits both the planet and profits. For example, by shifting to renewable energy. Communities can take steps to switch to clean power and cut energy waste. And people everywhere can influence government and business leaders huh? while adopting better energy habits in their own lives. There's never been more urgency or more opportunity to change climate change. And we can only move forward if people around the world work together to close the emissions gap and ensure a safer, cleaner energy future. Visit WWF to learn more and discover ways that you can help.